This tutorial is going to show you how to do some simple map visualizations in R. What we're going to be doing today is plotting some crime data onto a Google map. If you haven't already done it, in order to follow with this tutorial, you will need to register a Google API key for maps. Now, I have already made a video which um, is linked below this video. So um, if you haven't done that, just go back. It's a very short video. it will show you how to set all that up and then you can be ready to go to get R to talk to Google Maps because that's going to be really essential as part of this tutorial because we're overlaying data onto maps that we're going to be pulling straight from Google Maps. So to do this, we're going to need a few packages. Firstly, if you haven't already done it, which you should have done, if you've just followed the advice we've just given, you will need to use the um, RStudio API package because that's going to allow you to register your Google key. But most importantly, and the key thing that we're going to need is our map package, which is ggmap. So you'll want to install and Remember, you only install it once. You do not need to install this every single time that you do something. However, we do need to pull these things out of the library, so we'll need library, ggmap, and of course we will need our, our studio API, so I'm just going to pull those in. Now the first thing we can do is just register our Google key. So to do that, we just have our register Google command and then key and our Google key. I've had to blank mine out because I can't share it because it will eventually start costing me money if everybody decides to steal my Google key. So you'll see on the on the R code that I've uploaded it is just going to say enter your key here. So I'm just quickly going to register mine now just so it's going to work and then I'm just going to remove it so I don't have to keep blanking it out of the video. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to map some crime data. I have gone online and found that you can get huge amounts of crime data for the UK. So I'm going to make a data frame that's called map and I've got C CSV and you've got this CSV and what this CSV contains is crime data for Merseyside, which is the county that I live in. So it contains all sorts of information on different crimes. And remember, this is where I put that, this CSV file, which is online for you. You'll have to change the location, of course, on for your computer. So you need to do that. And then I'll briefly show you the data set just to explain what we've got. So we'll just do that. And let's have a look at our data set. See, there's huge amounts of information here. Um, so we've got a crime ID, the month, um, the reported by what police force, who, who's in charge of it. Critically, and what we'll be using later, we have the longitude and the latitude of where the crime took place. And this is the information we're going to keep for later. Um, it's got some broad locations there, some other bits and pieces. Then we've got the crime type. And then we've got the outcome. So court results unavailable, unable to prosecute, etc., etc., and some stuff for the context that we don't really need to look at. We only really are interested in the longitude and the latitude and the crime type for today. So what we do, we'll do it. We're not going to look at all crimes because that's a, that's a, a lot of crime. It's a large data set, so and it covers many years as well. I think it comes from 2018 to today. So we've got a lot of crime data there. So we'll just look at a selected type of crime instead. First thing we'll do, we'll just subset this data set. So we're just going to look at one type of crime in particular. And what we're going to look at is bicycle theft. So in order to look at that, it's relatively straightforward. What we'll do, we're just going to create a subset of that data. So I'm just going to call it subset. And the subset is taken from map. And then we open our square brackets and we just say in which 
let me say in our map data set we are going to look at crime type and we're only going to look at crime type if it is bicycle theft okay remember it's double equals there as well so this is going to create a subset and it's going to take away all of the crimes and we're only going to be looking at bicycle theft and just to complete this we do need a comma there as well so if you run that this will create us a subset so that's for you so we've now got a subset of data which is just the bicycle thefts so now we have a data set which contains all the bicycle thefts that we want to plot so now what we need to do is set up our map in some way so now we've got our data we just need to pull in a map from google on which we can put that data over so i'm just going to call it map crime and we just type gg map and then the command is get google map so we want to get a google map so we're going to pull a map from google maps and what we need to do is to begin with we need to tell it what the center of the map is so to do that you type center equals and c the longitude and the latitude which you want to be the center of your location now it's really easy to find the longitude and latitude for anywhere you can just use google to find it you know wikipedia will tell you the longitude and latitude of a given city as well and um, you may need to play around with them a little bit shift it left and right and up and down just so you've got the perfect um, area of your map that's going to show exactly what you wanted to show but it's relatively straightforward to do now the next thing you need to do is zoom so by zooming what i mean is it's all very well to say this is the center of the map but you need to also be close enough to be able to see the things that you're plotting it's no good having a map of the world that's centered on merseyside but being able to see the entire world but only plotting information in a small area so you need to zoom in on it and um, which is quite straightforward just write zoom and the um, the amount you want to zoom in again this may involve playing around you may want to zoom in less or more depending on how big the area is that you are putting information on but from messing around with a bit i found that a zoom of 10 is perfect for what i want to do here and then there's a couple of simple commands after that you want to tell it what type of map it is that you want and we want to use a terrain map which is just a standard google map and then the final thing we need to do is just tell it that the map's going to be color. So we have to bite our tongues and use the American spelling color and just say we want a color map. So that's basically told us this is the center of the map, how much you want to zoom in, the type of map, and whether you want it in color or not. And if you want to just see that map, we write print map crime. Let's run that. And there we go. So what we've done is we've pulled in from Google Maps. This is the Merseyside area. So we can see our terrain map. We've zoomed in a certain amount. We've covered all the Merseyside area here. Now you see if I wanted to zoom in to 12. You can see I've zoomed in further, but now I've cut off loads of the areas, so it's no good to me there. So 10 zoom in less than that. Let's get that map back up. So that's my map. So now what we need to do is simply plot where our bicycle thefts have occurred. So to do this, we just need to add some information at the bottom. What we're going to add is add some dots, some points to the data set. So to do that, we type geom 
point data equals subset. Then this aesthetic, how we're going to add it is we're going to have it as x equals longitude y equals capitals latitude so that's going to put a dot for every point on our data set let's go back to that quickly so for the long longitude and latitude gets a dot on our data set and that color it's going to be let's just do it as red and its size will equal 5. So again, you may have to play around with that, um, but 0 0.5 will be a decent size on this map. So all we're doing is saying, okay, we've got this map, and then we're going to add this information. So from our subset, the longitude and latitude. So this is the thing that's going to appear, and it's going to be on the XY axis, longitude and latitude. The color is going to be red, and the size of it is 0 0.5. So if we run that now, and then we say print, it's going to add that crime dot to the map. And here is all our bicycle crime. So let's just zoom in on that. As you can see, we've got all the dots appearing in the data set. What we could do is we can make them a little bit bigger. Let's make the dots bigger. So as you can see now, the much bigger spots, and we can see where our bicycle crime has occurred in each given area. So that's one way we can simply plot crimes or anything over a map. So we can just see where each event has taken place. We see right bang in the city centre seems to be the highest rates of bicycle crime. Now, of course, we can, you know, alter different things. So we could have different zooms. We could have different size. We could have our dots is blue. Exactly the same map, but now everything's blue instead. And we, so there's one final thing you may wish to do. You may wish to get rid of these labels here. So what we could do is we simply say plus, and then we can give it this bit of information here. So just say theme axis text x and y elements blank like that and that will get rid of the numbers on your axes and um, axis ticks element blank gets rid of these little marks here axis title y and x gets rid of your axis titles as well so we can just run that let's see it now there we go so we've just got the map and then we've just got the crime as well it's a relatively straightforward process to do all this and as you can see really just to add once we've pulled in our google map it's just a line of data and we can dot all these things in as well so as ever the data and the code barring my um, api key is all online for you i'm going to do some more advanced mapping i'm going to show you how to do contours and um, so you can have patches of color which can sort of reveal where crime density is I will also show you how to do animated maps so we can do this look at crimes over a series of months and we can see how crimes are changing over time with and produce um, little animated GIFs for it as well. So hopefully that's been helpful. If you did find it helpful, please subscribe to the channel.